got a comment the other day from Yusuf. He says, a fantastic video, Rubber Nuggy. Oh, thank you very much. He says, as always, well, you know, I do try. Could you also make a video on installing Nomad BSD on an inserted micro SD card while plugged into a USB adapter providing SDHC and SDXC as well as micro SD card slots? Well, I think I understand what you mean, but yes, uh, I've done the video and here it is. The SD card reader and SD card itself are used as an anchor 2-in-1 USB 3 card reader and a SanDisk 16GB micro SDHC. So, they're not the latest, not the fastest, um, but it's what I had lying around. And I used these to do the initial write. So I opened up a terminal in the folder where it was downloaded and do ls to get the text listing so we can just copy it easily. And just copy and paste the name of that. Output file, uh, use the DA0, which is the USB, BS equals one, and convert. So this is following the instructions on the Nomad BSD side. It did take a while. We're only using BS equals one, so uh, you could use forward speed it up, but it might not be as reliable on an SD card. Anyway, once that's done, and we'll try the different combinations of SD card. The first one was using the adapter with just the SD card itself. That didn't work. It didn't boot up. Then I used the SD card adapter. That also didn't work. The next one I used a Starware 2-in-1 SD card reader with just the SD card, and that didn't boot. But when I tried the SD adapter in the 2-in-1, this combination actually worked, and it worked very well. So I'm just booting up the computer uh, to the initial install mode. And I'm just going through the various things. Right, and just reboot. And this time I'm going to reboot it in real time. I'm not going to speed it up. So this is booting off the SD card after it's been configured by Nomad BSD. Like I said, this is not the fastest SD card. You can get quicker ones, uh, newer ones actually. And the USB 2-in-1 adapter, although it is USB 3, isn't plugged into a USB 3 port. And that would make it faster. But uh, overall, I found that this particular combination was quick enough. It actually was very good. And I think that's great testament to the Nomad BSD devs. So, we're booting up in real time. Uh, it's not too bad. It's the usual FreeBSD scrolling text, which I actually quite like. Some nice green additions. And I think, yeah, that was actually quite quick. And network's connected. We're just going to go into... Uh, I'm just going to make it a little bigger so we can see what's going on. So I'm just going to adjust the fonts. Uh, we'll put it up to... No, we'll 15. No, we'll really down to 13. Uh, click select. That might be a bit better to see. There's the disk, uh, disk file system. It's using UFS. And we'll put Gpart show. And it should show, yeah, there we go. So there we are. 16 gigabyte SD card running Nomad BSD very nicely indeed and quite speedy too. Anyway, just going to log out, shut down, and say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.